There are numerous mysteries and unbelievable creatures in the oceans, rivers, and other water bodies around the globe that haven't been discovered yet. And today, we're going to show you 15 most incredible clips that were recorded by fishermen, and you probably wouldn't believe these were real if it wasn't for video evidence. Number 1. A Giant Megalodon The Megalodon's considered to be one of the greatest and most frightening predators to have ever inhabited planet Earth. Before going extinct, this giant dominated the oceans for around 13 millennia before dying out 2.6 million years ago. While scientists believe that the Megalodon is extinct for sure, there have been multiple reports of abnormally large shark sightings around the world's oceans. One such account from Australia made news around the globe back in the year 1918. An Australian naturalist named David Stead wrote a report about a frightening encounter between an enormous shark and a fisherman. According to these fishermen, the shark was believed to be between 35 and 90 meters in length, and the fishermen who came face to face with this shark actually quit their jobs and then refused to ever go back into the water. They also reported that the shark devoured their entire loaded net with just one bite, destroyed all of their equipment, and almost sank their entire boat. David gathered information from the fishermen that would reveal that the shark was ghostly white in color. No shark has ever been recorded to reach such monumental lengths, and many believe these fishermen did encounter a massive shark, but the size of the animal has been exaggerated and it probably was not a megalodon. But no one can say for sure what it really was. Number 2. Sleeping Whales a few years ago, a photographer named Franco Banfi was a free diving underwater without any breathing equipment just off the coast of an island named Dominica. It's located in the Caribbean Sea between Martinique and Guadalupe, and he would come across an astonishing sight where there were six sperm whales, silent and still, suspended in upright postures drifting in water at a depth of around 65 meters. This strange sleeping behavior was first noticed in sperm whales back in the year 2008 by researchers. Sperm whales do tend to doze off while drifting in this posture for 10 to 15 minutes at a time, and they don't breathe or move during these mini naps. Banfi captured the images of these whales even though it was quite the challenge. The large size of the animals makes it difficult to illuminate their bodies with strobe lights that are used by most underwater photographers in the deeper parts of the oceans. Banfi made the most of natural light and checked which direction the sunlight was coming from and then lit up the suspended whales. Researchers have found that in napping sperm whales, one hemisphere of the brain is still active, which allows them to swim and breathe voluntarily while resting. Further observations have also revealed that sperm whales enter these sleeping states by first descending head first to a depth several times greater than the lengths of their bodies. Sperm whales all around the world have been found to manifest this vertical sleeping posture, but they do this quite infrequently. Banfi stayed underwater for as long as one minute in order to take as many photos of the majestic mammals as he could. Number 3. Snake Bites Fisherman These two people that you see in the clip are fishing using nothing more than their hands and a bucket. But what they don't know is that they're disturbing a predator who doesn't react nicely when someone messes around with it. The fishermen seem to be enjoying the whole process of fishing lying on the ground. One man is using his hand to locate, grab, and pull out fish from what looks like a shallow pond. It's a quite strange method, and it's called noodling. In the excitement of catching as many fish as he can, the fisherman lying on the ground doesn't notice when a snake emerges and then bites him on the nose. You can see him struggling in the water and shaking in fear and pain, but thankfully his companion comes to the rescue, pulling him out. However, to their surprise, the snake has latched onto the fisherman's nose and is not letting go. The other guy keeps slapping the snake, trying to throw it away, and then finally succeeds. The snake backs off and slithers away and the poor victim of the snake can be seen lying on the ground trying to regain his senses. It must have been an incredibly frightening experience. The fisherman probably has been traumatized for life. The footage proves that one should not get carried away doing anything and always remain aware of their surroundings. You never know when a snake might decide to bite you on the nose. Number 4. Eagle Robs Fisherman Imagine the surprise of a man casually fishing, enjoying his day, extremely happy with his catch, 
when a bald eagle swoops in out of nowhere and then steals the fish directly from the fishing rod. Believe it or not, eagles are pretty good at fishing themselves. Their incredible eyesight is around eight times better than that of a human, which allows them to focus on their prey from a whopping distance of two miles away. Most humans, on the other hand, have to be within at least 100 yards of an animal to catch it. That's why eagles thrive in areas where the fish are abundant. This also means all popular fishing sites for humans are also the hunting grounds for eagles. The same was the case here, but this eagle realized it didn't even have to try to catch the fish. It saw this man fishing at Lewinston Lake in Northern California and then circled and suddenly swooped in and stole the nice big trout from the fisherman as he was attempting to reel it in. The guy tried getting rid of the eagle, but it just kept on trying until it was successful. The fisherman was angry to say the least, but the eagle was smarter and more composed, so eventually the line broke and it flew away with the fish. Someone fishing nearby fortunately took the opportunity and filmed the funny exchange between the two competitors, and it seems like this particular eagle is an experienced fighter who defeated many other fishermen and then stole their catch. What do you think about this clever bird? Let me know about it in the comments down below. Number 5. Mammoth Fossil A couple of fishermen in Siberia made an incredible discovery while fishing. They accidentally came across remains of an ancient woolly mammoth. They were many different bones along with mammoth tusks, and these bones included toes, upper and lower jaw bones, and more. The fishermen immediately informed the authorities about their fortunate discovery, and the bones were then analyzed and studied. It would be revealed that these bones were at least 36,000 years old, and the pair was overjoyed by their find and could not believe that they had unearthed an archaeological treasure. These days, because of climate change and melting ice, thousands of mammoth graveyards are now being discovered in Russia and Siberia. In fact, it's become a booming business for the mining and digging companies. Not to mention there's a great demand for mammoth tusks in markets around the world. Mammoths were huge mammals that inhabited the earth, belonging to the order of trunked mammals called proboscideans. After their extinction, the ivory from their tusks became a valuable raw material that was obtained by digging up their carcasses from the ice. Number 6. A Russian Spy A mysterious beluga whale appeared off of the coast of Norway wearing what looked like a Russian harness. It was first sighted at the end of April in 2019 by some fishermen, and they noticed a blob of white flashing past them near the islands, and this was naturally alarming because beluga whales rarely swim this far south in the high Arctic. Even stranger was the fact that there was a harness wrapped tightly around its body. It looked as if the whale was actually asking for help. A concerned fisherman clicked a few pictures of the whale and sent them to a marine biologist, who in turn reached out to the Norwegian Directorate of Fisheries for assistance in the matter. A seafaring inspector by the name of Jorgen Rewig was then dispatched to investigate the animal. He saw the whale and realized that it was in a unique situation. The fisherman then donned a survival suit and jumped in the water to help the poor whale, freeing the beluga and retrieving the harness. Surprisingly, the harness had a camera mount and clip bearing the inscription Equipment St. Petersburg. This led to an investigation that was conducted by Norway's domestic intelligence agency and they later revealed that the whale was probably part of the Russian research program. Now believe it or not, Russia actually has a long history of training marine mammals like dolphins for military purposes. A retired Russian colonel, however, would report that the scientists in northern Russia were using beluga whales for tasks of civilian information gathering instead of military purposes. Owing to its suspected spy status, the whale was then named Hyldemur. After being rescued, it was kept in a harbor at Hammerfest, a coastal town around 11,000 people. Initially, it was difficult for the whale to adapt as it was struggling to feed itself, but to save its life, Norway's fisheries approved a program that monitors and feeds it. Number 7. Shark Caught by Fishermen no matter how huge or menacing an underwater predator is, it's almost entirely helpless as soon as it's out of the water. Just look at this shark that ended up getting trapped in the net of a fisherman. The fish truly had no idea what was in store for it when it was pulled out of the net and from the water. 
The fishermen were expecting lots of usual size small fish, but to their surprise, when they emptied the net on the boat, there was a huge shark amongst the catch. They were baffled to see the terrifying shark up close, but even more unsettling was how the shark was still moving and refused to give in. In fact, it was more focused on chomping down on the other fish that were trapped with it. Seeing that it was alive and capable of eating other fish, despite being out of water, the fishermen would get together, grab the shark, and then tossed it back into the sea. It seems like the shark got lured to the net by the hundreds of fish that were trapped within. But then again, who would refuse food that was served to them on a platter? Thankfully, it wasn't one of those incredibly massive sharks, because throwing it back into the water would have been a much more difficult task, and it could have attacked one of the fishermen, just like this one was attacking the other fish even outside of the water. Number 8. A Wolf Eel In this video captured by a fisherman, you can witness what looks like an alien fish. The person filming the video is feeding crabs to the monstrous creature, and it's actually a real kind of fish called a wolf eel, and not just a creature from a sci-fi universe. It's no doubt the ugliest fish that we've ever seen in our lives. The wolf eel isn't only visually horrifying, it's actually a very dangerous kind of fish. Wolf eels have extremely powerful jaws equipped with razor-sharp teeth that can easily crush animals, having the strongest of shells. You can see in the clip that it's not a small fish. In fact, these can grow as far as 8 feet in length and weigh around 40 pounds. Their bone structure is quite flexible, which allows them to easily fit into and pass through tight spaces. These fish belong to a family that are most commonly found in the waters of the North Pacific Ocean, but don't be fooled by its common name because it's not a true eel. Younger wolf eels usually are orange with big dark spots in the posterior parts of their bodies, but with age they then become gray, brownish gray, or dark olive. They bear canine teeth in the front and molars in the back of their mouth, and the male wolf eels have large lips and a protuberance on the superior part of their heads. This incredibly fearsome creature can live for up to 20 years. Number 9. Lizard Fish Believe it or not, there's actually a species of fish called a lizard fish. These are marine and estuarine bony fishes that belong to a fish order, which is a diverse group of marine ray fish that's found in tropical and subtropical marine waters around the world. Fishermen catching a lizard fish is quite a unique and rare occurrence, as these are benthic or bottom dwellers. Generally, these fish are small in size, but the largest recorded length of a lizard fish is around 60 centimeters. Their sleek, somewhat cylindrical bodies have heads that superficially resemble that of a lizard. Their dorsal fin is located in the middle of the back, and it is accompanied by a small adipose fin closer to the tail. Their mouths are full of sharp teeth that cover their tongues, and they prefer sandy environments, as these, along with their body color, help to camouflage them. In the clip, you can see a fisherman reeling in a lizard fish. He wasn't expecting to grab this rare catch, but it was his lucky day. They are usually uncommon among fishermen and consumers, and their most distinctive feature is that they are an apex predator. This means that they're capable of tearing apart and eating anything that crosses their path. Number 10. Ghost Fish a fisherman couldn't believe his eyes when he pulled out this rare see-through fish that closely resembles a shrimp. The fishermen were around 43 miles off the Kakari Peninsula of New Zealand when they found it swimming near the ocean's surface. The fish is called salpa, and it's a kind of marine invertebrate. These commonly inhabit equatorial and cold seas, and that means that the water around this peninsula is ideal for these translucent creatures, famous as salps. These are spotted swimming alone, as well as in the form of a long, sting-like colony. They tend to move by pumping water through their gelatinous bodies. These fish species are pretty harmless and do not pose a threat to anyone except for the plankton that it feeds on. Their see-through bodies are designed to help them to be avoid being seen by predators when they're floating close to the surface, and you can see in the footage that it looks a lot like a fish that's made out of glass or jelly. Taxonomically, these creatures are considered closer to humans than to jellyfish, though it's no secret that they do look like ghosts of fish that have died in the sea. These tend to have a complex life cycle, and they grow at abnormally rapid speed. In fact, they can mature in less than 48 hours. 
Experts believe that these are the fastest growing multicellular animals on our planet. Number 11. Squid Inks Fishermen Anyone with the least bit of knowledge about marine life knows that octopuses and squids tend to ink their prey and their predators in times of distress. But have you ever seen one of these creatures actually ink a person trying to pull it out of the water? Well, now you do. Check out this clip of a fisherman who was trying really hard to reel in this squid and capture it, but the squid wasn't willing to let that happen. The creature was clearly upset and wanted to humiliate the human preying upon it, so as soon as he tried reeling it out of the water, the squid inked the face of the fisherman as a defense mechanism. You can see his startled expression and the disgust, and now the guy will probably never try to mess with a squid again. There were two fishermen on board the boat, Jared Edwards and his friend Casey Mitchell. They were in a small boat just off the coast of St. Kilda, Adelaide. The 35-year-old Edward was struggling to get the squid out of the water while his friend filmed the encounter. The black ink of the squid can be seen dripping down his face after the funny assault. Casey, who was filming, could obviously not stop himself from bursting into a fit of laughter, and Edwards would reveal later that the squid had already inked in the water, so he wasn't expecting another discharge. Number 12. Goliath Grouper Catching a Goliath Grouper is not a task for the faint of heart, in fact, pulling this beast out of the water is almost close to impossible. As its name would indicate, the Goliath grouper is a massive species of grouper. These can weigh as much as 800 pounds, and the ones you see in these clips are nearly half the size that these fish are capable of achieving. But despite that, these groupers are so enormous that it takes a whole lot of effort and some specialized techniques to capture these giants. These fish, however, do not possess a lot of stamina, so they don't really fight being caught for long. However, a pretty heavy tackle is required to bring these down, but once they realize they're being preyed upon, they speed away and even the strongest of fishermen find it challenging to reel them back in. If you're fishing these behemoths without a harness or a chair, you're probably ready to take part in an MMA fight. Some of the larger goliath groupers are just impossible to land on rod and reel. Now, that's because even if your drag is tight and your line is strong, these giants will just pull the boat backwards and break off at the rocks. Some of the strongest rods have ended up getting broken while fishing for the goliath groupers. But all you need to do is pull through this initial run and turn them, and they'll get tired quickly and let you drag them onto the boat. This species is, however, protected in the United States, and after you've proven your strength by catching one, you're then required by law to release it back into the water. Number 13. Giant Manta Ray In a surprising stroke of luck, a fisherman in Karnataka state of India caught two gigantic manta rays just off the coast. The fisherman was deep sea fishing in Mangalore off the Maple Coast and caught these giant manta rays. He got onto his boat that morning because he was definitely not expecting to come home with such an exciting catch. These two manta rays were extraordinarily massive. An actual crane had to be brought in just to load them onto a truck after the brave fisherman had somehow managed to bring them to shore. Word about the huge manta rays would travel fast, and soon enough, many of the locals would begin arriving to see them. Together, the two manta rays weighed a whopping 750 kilograms. The former president of the Fishermen's Association would state that a catch this enormous isn't quite common, but it's also not very rare. It turns out that giant manta rays are caught quite frequently in the region, but the ones that were caught by this fisherman were abnormally large. These were also not captured in a remote area, so they got a lot of media attention. It would be reported that the fishermen were planning to export these manta rays and fetch a handsome price in exchange. The International Advocacy Organization for Ocean Conservation have, however, declared these giant manta ray species vulnerable to extinction, they face a significant threat from commercial fishing, and despite all conservation measures, the demand for these has only increased, particularly in the Asian markets. Number 14. Nightmarish Deep Sea Shark Recently, an Australian fisherman shared a photo of a scary, monstrous creature from the deep blue. The internet community has dubbed it the Stuff of Nightmares. The Sydney fisherman had reeled in this gruesome-looking, almost alien deep-sea shark. He snapped a photo of the sea lurker and then posted it on Facebook. 
The strange bug-eyed creature sparked a debate amongst people around the globe. Some would express fear, pointing out that the deep sea is like a different planet, while others felt pity that the creature was this ugly. They would joke that only a mother could love that face. Experts, however, are trying to figure out what exactly it is. Dean Grubbs, an associate research director at Florida State University's Coastal and Marine Laboratory, has speculated that it could be a rough-skinned dogfish shark, and these belong to a family of sleeper sharks, and quite a few of them have been sighted in the Gulf of Mexico and in the Bahamas. Dogfish are generally found at depths between 2,400 to 3,800 feet. Another expert by the name of Christopher Lowe, the director of California State University at Long Beach's Shark Lab, thinks it's the deepwater kitefin shark. However, scientists think that it could be a previously unknown species, and many new species of deepwater sharks are discovered all the time. A lot of them do bear an uncanny resemblance to each other. However, they're not actually the same species. Number 15. Car-Sized Stingray Scientists recently managed to catch an unbelievably large fish. It's so big that there are speculations that it might just be the largest freshwater fish on record. The enormous stingray would be caught at the Mekong River located in Thailand. The stingray was actually the size of a car, and it took an entire group of people just to pull it out of the water. The fish measured 7.9 feet across and an incredible 14 feet in length. The colossal creature weighed a whopping 800 pounds. People who captured it had to release it back into the water that was at least 65 feet deep so that it can move around without surfacing. It's actually set a new world record and is now officially considered to be the biggest of its kind. But that's not all. When experts performed an ultrasound on the stingray, they then realized that the mother fish was pregnant with two fetal rays. They improvised and then put together an underwater nursery in order to help deliver the baby rays. Scientists initially caught the stingray because they're listed as critically endangered species by the International Union for the Conservation of Nature. And therefore, scientists are super excited to have fortunately found the two baby rays. They're hoping to be able to help the species to grow and survive. Have you ever come across something strange or extraordinary while fishing? If yes, tell us in the comments down below.